Hey everyone, how's it going? I am Zerikon and I am back once again. Good news, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time now has a PC port and it's, avail and it's ready to be played. I just found out about, about this yesterday, which I think might have been when <laughs> this news dropped. Um, yeah, so like it's here, you know, it's got widescreen support, modding support, graphic support, and a lot more. Um, so today I actually want to talk and help you all uh, if you want to set this up, if you want to get the ball running, if you want to do it, I'm going to help that help you with that so that way it's as easy as possible uh, and because I had a lot of headaches and stuff trying to get this to run or at least try to get everything set up. So I'm going to guide you through this and and uh, help you get through this. All right, so there are a couple things you'll need. You'll need to have, first off, uh, WSL. Uh, this is a sort of like using Linux... Uh, so I guess like an interface to use Linux on your uh, Windows PC. So, and actually you can do this with Ubuntu. Um, I pretty certain I saw that somewhere that you can use if you're using that. And you might be able to use other types of Linux if you might be able to use like Debian base uh, since you know Ubuntu uses that. Or you might even be able to use like Arch or other stuff like that. But uh, yeah, but since we're pretty much most of you all are going to be using Windows, we'll just be using this. So you'll want to go into either command, uh, your command prompt or your use, whoops, or your PowerShell as an admin, because you'll need to download it, and you'll just type in WSL space uh, hyphen hyphen, install, hit enter, and then it'll install, and then you'll have to reset your computer uh, just so it works, and then after that, you'll actually go into it. It'll be as uh, Ubuntu right here it won't be saying WSL but you'll have to make a username and password so that we can do all this stuff like with uh, sudo and administrative stuffs within that Linux uh, terminal so that's what we need you'll also need to have a uh, uh, ROM for it you won't it's not going to be your typical N64 ROM so this is the mistake I made like I went through five different ROMs trying to get this to work until you know I actually read <laughs> and learned you'll you do need to have the debug ROM so make sure you have that if you don't have that you, it won't work uh, and unfortunately you know I, I can't legally tell you where to get it you'll have to look for it uh, but you know I'm certain that there are certain groups or organizations out there that archive these kind of things you know just I'm just putting that out there <laughs> you, you can find it but uh, and then you'll also need to go into the groups discord because that's where you're going to get the end result so I will and again, I'll leave a link to everything that you'll need in the description so you can all check it out. So once you're actually in here, though, in the Discord, you'll actually go click, uh, go into the builds channel, click that, and then it'll take you to here. That's what you're going to need. You're going to download this. And yeah, so after you have that, that's, but again, this is for like the end process. So we'll keep that in the back burner for right now. So once, after you download that and unzip it and stuff. So. What you're going to want to do for right now is you're going to want to go here. This is where you're going to want to get the actual, put your debug ROM through here to get the ROM to put into the uh, S, uh, ship of Harkensian. Again, this is like a lot of stuff going on. So that's why we're doing it step by step. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull this up here. And we're also going to follow the guy through this as well. So once you have this up in here and running, you'll want to download certain... Uh, certain commands to help you get set up here. So you'll scroll down here. You will first type in sudo apt get updates right here. You'll type that in and then it'll run through that. And then you'll also type in after, and again, I have all this stuff, so that's why I don't really need to do it since I already have it downloaded. You'll also type in sudo apt get install, git build essential, uh, bit nutils, uh, mips, linux, gnu, python3, uh, lib PNG dev. Uh, so yeah, so you'll want to type all that in. I tried using copy and paste for some reason it wasn't working. So make sure you, you know actually go in and type it in. Now for here for the Python dependencies, for some reason this I couldn't get it to work here. Like I tried typing it in. I tried using sudo app git install python3 uh, m pip install colorama. It didn't work at all. I tried multiple times. So I didn't end up needing it. Maybe you'll need it. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it, it was weird. Then after that, you'll want to type in sudo install, uh, sudo apt git install 
uh, GCC uh, hyphen MIPS hyphen Linux hyphen GNU and you'll type that in there and here's actually where I'll be able to start like joining in with you all and helping you all with this so once you all have that installed because that's gonna be good to know go you'll want to actually have a, uh, a directory for where you'll be putting this zero, uh, zero Zelda ret uh, file so what you'll want to actually do here is you will hit whoops type it in as you see here so you have git clone whoops that is not right clone I'm sorry I'm trying to like look and see HTTPS semicolon forward slash forward slash github.com forward slash Zelda ret forward slash OOT forward slash wait nope do not forward slash dot git so let's make sure we got that git clone https uh, forward slash forward slash github.com slash zelda ret slash ot dot git and then that's going to go through here and i can't remember if this is the one like it's going to be uh a little slow so i will go ahead and fast forward through this so that way you all don't have to just sit here and watch this all day Okay, so now that's done, we're going to actually uh, go and copy our debug file into the ROM. So actually what you're going to do is just to make sure you, because you're going to figure out like, hey, where's like the folder that I copied into. So what you're going to do is type in explorer.exe space period, and then hit enter. And then it'll actually have the directory where you're going to actually put uh, the debug file. So you have, you know, OOT, Ocarina of Time. And then here you go. This is where it's going to be. So you're going to have another folder. Okay, right here. Actually, yeah, here we go. Here's our ROM. So actually what I'm going to want to do here is you're going to want to extract this, obviously. Boom. And actually for right now, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our emulators. So H and OK and then hit OK. That's extracted. So then we're going to want to go back to SOH here. Emulators. SOH. Boom. Here we go. Here is our uh, file. Copy it. And then you're just going to right in here. You don't need to go to any folders. Just put in right here. Paste it, Zelda. And then actually what you're going to do here is, let me make sure I get this right. Because I got this wrong quite a few times. You'll want to rename the file as base ROM underscore original. And then if depending on what you have, it's going to be an n dot n64 dot v64 dot z64. It doesn't matter. Just make sure that the uh, file is named base rom underscore original so you go there you go whoops and then that's gonna be fine so then I'm going to want to go ahead and type in CD o, uh, space OOT, hit enter. So now we're in that directory. And then you're going to want to go ahead and hit make space setup. And that's going to prepare the ROM for you. Or if, uh, it actually will make, it'll make the preparations for making the ROM conversion. Okay, so I actually made a mistake. I realized after uh, going through the process, it, there was an error, and I realized that I put in the wrong ROM, so I had to go back in and put in the correct ROM to get it to run, but now it's actually working. So once you're actually done with that, it should look like this. There, If it, if it, there's a problem, it'll say error, and then it'll say what the problem was, whether it couldn't find the ROM, whether it was like the wrong ROM, because that's the one that I got saying. It was like, oh, it's been tampered with, and I'm like, just be for some reason, it's very finicky with like the type of ROM you get, even with the debug one. So after that, 
uh, you will then want to go ahead and then just type in make right in there and that will create the ROM and again I'm going to constantly be fast forwarding this because it'll take a while Right, and once it's done, <laughs> you should see this message here. Now, if it says, like, if it says Zelda, you know, Ocarina, uh, MQ, debug, dot, uh, dot C64, okay, then you're good. If you have a problem here, um, like, the error says it's failed or uh, something like this, then something went wrong here and you'll need to go through here. I haven't had any of this issue here. Like, so the only issue I had was when I put in the wrong ROM and so like error, like it's been tampered with or something like that. But if you've had something here, then check through this and hopefully this will help you if you've had that problem. So then with that being said, we won't need to do any more commands here. So you can close that out here. And then what we're actually going to do now is we're going to actually pull this up here. Make sure you keep this up uh, for the... Guess you're actually what I'm going to do is you're going to go into tools. Okay, I was wrong. Actually, it will be right in uh, the main page. So you're not going to have to go into any folders. It'll just be right here. Zelda Ocarina, you know, the file we just made. You're going to want to copy that. And actually, before you do anything there, you know, I actually forgot that. Well, actually, we're going to go back to an early step. Remember how I said you were going to have to uh, go into the SOH file. Uh, program so you're actually going to go into back into where you wherever you you know downloaded it uh from or into you're going to want to go there so we're going to go actually right here you're going to go and extract it so soh and we're going to extract files then choose where you're going to want to download it at Hit OK. Then you're going to go want to go into um, there and yep, here we go. Cool. So we're going to now now you're going to want to go ahead and copy that and paste it right into there. And then you're going to go into the OTR GUI.exe. Open that up. Oh, then you're going to click Open Ocarina of Time ROM. Then you're going to select the ROM that we just made and hit Open. All right, and then once it's done, you'll just be able to go ahead and just hit X and close it out, and that'll be fine. Now, after that, that's pretty much it. You'll be good to go. Uh, all right, I got my Bluetooth on, so I will connect my controller. Now, one thing, though, and I don't know if this is just something with my build or something like that, is that it's still in the alpha phase. I know some people are have had problems. Like, for example, with me, it's really, like, you'll, you'll see in a second here. Like, let's just go ahead, and then you'll want to click soh.exe, and that's going to actually run the game. So hopefully this is something that'll you know get patched and whatnot. Um, yeah, let's see, we're running it right now. Yeah, and as you can hear, like the it's really kind of chugging along right now. And you can see like right there, it's weird. Yeah, but I mean, like, it it starts <laughs> and stuff, like, you know, my controller's recognized and stuff. Um, but no, I'll just go ahead and kill it right now because it's really just not worth keeping up. But yeah, like, hopefully it'll work better for you. Um, I don't know if it's something that's on my end. Let's throw on again. Go through the Discord and check and see. This is mainly just to see if I can help you get through the process so if you can at least get this far that's great 
and then the, uh, the next step if if you're having problems like hopefully you're doing better than i am you won't have any problems with it uh because i don't th it definitely shouldn't be a matter of like hardware because you no know, i'm running i've run more demanding things than ocarina of time so you know go through the discord see if there's any any like tips and stuff and hopefully this helps you out let me know if you have any questions though and i will do my best to answer them and i hope that i explained everything as comprehensive as possible so i will see you all next time until then i am zericon signing off have a good one